We're backstage here at Cream Amnesia in Ibiza with none other than Wolfgang Gardner. How are you, mate? Excellent. Yeah, you good? Good, very good. Just learning from LA, have you? Uh, yesterday I got in, yeah, yeah, but from LA, 21 hour flight, 21 hours of travel. It's too much, isn't it? Not fun, <laughs> not fun. Now, how long are you here for? Uh, on the island just for tonight and then to Portugal tomorrow for a Portugal, couple, yeah? Yeah, cool. couple, couple shows in Portugal. Cool. And you're looking forward to your cream set? Yeah, of course, man. I'm here. Actually, I'm here three times this summer at, at Amnesia at Cream. So awesome. Yeah, looking forward to it, man. And you played with Cream before? Yeah, the last time was uh, was for Super You and Me with Laidback Luke. Cool. And I think I have one more of those this summer. I'm doing the party with him again. Fantastic. So that was my only. And then I played Cream and Liverpool, obviously. That was awesome, How too. How was that? It was awesome. It was yeah. great. I think, it was, I think that was also for... Uh, super you and me, so it was also a laid back loop party, but fucking great time, man. Awesome, yeah. good times. Yeah. Well, Wolfgang, tell us a little bit about like the difference in you know, all you're traveling around all these different countries playing music. What do you find like difference between the crowds and the music that you got to play, or does everyone just want to hear what you play? Um, there's definitely a difference, yeah. um, and I mean, I don't, I don't really know how to like <laughs> pinpoint that difference. It's just different crowds react to different things, and there's no stiff rules about it you just have to feel them out and yeah. be aware that if you're playing somewhere you haven't played before they're probably not going to react to the same stuff that your of crowds course. normally react to yeah, definitely. You know? and what was it that got you into DJing uh, it was just the music I started producing first and then that really? that hey. led oh. to you know wanting to go out and hear more music and I saw DJs saw what they were doing got inspired by that and just kind of snowball from there they go pretty well together right yeah, yeah they have to do, they have to <laughs> and how long have you been coming to Abitha for uh, I think the first time I came here was 2003, so yeah. like eight eight years. Yeah, yeah, yeah that works out. And yeah. how, coming to Ibiza for eight years now, what's your favorite thing about the island? Uh, probably the weather and the atmosphere and yep. everything. Like, I mean, if you took all of the clubs and everything off of here, it would yeah. be like, you know, an amazing like desert island relaxation spot. With all the clubs on here, it's a great clubbing spot. Yeah, of course. But like, just the just. The whole landscape of everything is beautiful. Fantastic, man. Well, we, we had to promote the best of Ibiza, so glad to hear that you love it. Do you ever actually get to come and spend some proper time in Ibiza, or are you just in and out? I haven't yet, and I think I want to turn one of these trips into a vacation. Like, either next time or the time after that, next month. I want to come, like, four days early. Yeah, you got to. You know, just, like, relax, bring my girlfriend, do some fun things, go out on the ocean, like, just enjoy it, because I've never been here for more than a day, so. Well, give us a shot. We'll take a little round trip of Ibiza. Get to see nice. all the parts you haven't seen yet. Nice, sounds <laughs> good. Wolfgang, don't want to keep you too long. We know you've got a massive set to play. Um, what are we looking at hearing from you tonight, other than the huge tunes you always drop? Uh, a lot of unreleased stuff from my album that's not out yet, okay. so uh, quite a bit of those. Unreleased stuff from friends of mine, a lot of edits, a lot of new stuff. Uh, just whatever, whatever I feel like playing, I guess. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Good stuff. And very lastly, Wolfgang, you're on uh, Lucky Life TV. Lucky Life TV. Yeah. So tell us, what's the luckiest thing that's ever happened to you? The luckiest thing that's ever happened to me? Oh, man. <laughs> on the spot. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know, man. Uh, I, I don't really. say you're misses, I'll see you in trouble. I don't, I, don't, I don't really have good luck. It's all, it's all happened because, you know, I made it happen. So there is no, no such thing as luck. Just so you know. It happens because you, you make it happen. There you go. That's, That's actually the whole inverse behind the company. Yeah. Is that luck is not something that's given to you, it's something you create. So what's the thing that you worked most for that was worth it? Uh, produce, learning to produce music, you know, yeah, spending, right. spending every hour of every day in my bedroom studio and after school and like just sending demo tapes to record labels and getting them. Um, turned down over and over and over for 10 years until yeah. finally something happened so Do you know what the thing is after those 10 years i bet you there's a whole lot of people going ah oh, wolfgang that lucky bastard yeah exactly yeah. they think it's luck of yeah. course yeah. yeah and there you go that's where you and i both know yeah it luck. yeah it's, it's hard 10 work. years of hard work exactly awesome well listen mate it's been a really ple massive pleasure catching up with you Likewise. so um best of luck for your set we Thanks, look forward man. to um dancing on the dance floor to you and um catch up with you on the next trip to Abita. thanks man My thanks for lucky live tv with wolfgang gardner